Hey guys, Van Slam here. I'm just going to give you a quick walk walkthrough on my test solar system that I've been using for about a year before I put in my RV to make sure everything's okay. But I've got two great solar 100 watt panels on my shed roof. Um, now, the cable's coming through here and the positive links up to this on off switch here, fused. And then the positive goes into my power controller which is a ProStar 30M and then the negative goes into the solar part of the uh, ProStar 30 okay um, now this feeds down to the batteries meaning the batteries the power from the solar panels go into my two 6 volt little craft 6 volt golf batteries okay and then they feed up here the positive goes into this switch here where I can shut it on and off goes into my 1500 watt power inverter and the negative comes straight from the batteries up into the power inver inverter okay now here I have a kilowatt measuring device and from that I've got this strip electronic strip goes straight into there that powers all my electronic devices 120 so I have here I have the power for the TV is right here 12 volt that converts to 120. Then I have this power uh, extension cable that goes down and I can power other things. But right now I'm powering my Sony radio tape deck speaker system. That's where when barbecues I'll take it out and just play that all day uh, for free power. Also I do have, like I said, I do have a 12 volt setup for my lights. I have one here, it's an LED. Then I have another one here that's LED. See, works out. And then uh, that powers that as well. So I've got the solar power coming in through there into the charge controller. The charge controller is powering my 12 volt. It goes down to my batteries and charges up to the uh, power inverter. And then the power inverter goes to the circuit board up there that powers everything else. That's 120. In addition to this whole thing, I also have a temperature gauge. It measures the temperature of the batteries um, and it lets the system know what's going on with the batteries and it'll shut it up high and low based on that um, yeah so there you go that's that's my system right there all set up nice and neat and once I do feel comfortable with it which I do feel comfortable with it I'm gonna take it over to my RV and uh, power that up with it charging up the batteries in there I'm trying to decide whether I keep what type of batteries I do get and whether I decide to get more than two or four um, and how many panels I put on a roof and what voltage that is but one thing good about the Pro Star 30 is that it does gel sealed and flooded and you just adjust this knob here to get to the rack the correct charging for each as you can see right now 0.3 12.2 volts in the battery um, This has been all winter. So haven't been getting much of a solar charge, but once again, they're over 12 So the batteries are definitely over 50% in good shape So that's my solar system. I hope you enjoy it. Talk to you later. Bye